I want to retire early. That's a dream that everybody has, but don't think it's achievable. Um, what we're going to do in this video is show you the steps that we took. So it was a reality in my life. Uh, with all that being said, Alex, take it away. Hey guys, welcome back to the Pass Money Plan. Uh, my name is Alex and that is Kirby over there. Um, we're going to be talking about Kirby and his experience with his family. Uh, him and his wife were able to retire before 40 or live a lifestyle where they at least had the option to retire. They, they're, they're workaholics. They're always working. But I would like to apply that to myself too. I know we've talked about this. I'm currently 24. I've said uh, for the last three years now, I would like to get to a point by 30 uh, where I would like to have the option to retire. I know I won't retire. But I would like to buy 30, have enough assets built to where it covers my expenses uh, monthly. And uh, it's a lot of work that is involved and a lot of sacrifices. But with that, I mean, Kirby, uh, let's get into what you and you and your wife were able to do. Well, let's let's rewind it. So if we rewind it back. Uh, we're going to make the story a little shorter for the people that haven't been following the channel and, are, and that's new to the channel. Um when we started off, you know, young, young, 20, how old was it? 23, 24, I forgot how old when I got married. Uh, I was a guy that was, you know, spendaholic and things like that. And me, I'm going to blame me. Uh, I won't put any of that on my wife. Uh, me, I got us into about $250,000 in debt. And then from there, we started putting in plans, processes, and procedures to push on. So I was about 23. Around the same age you were, Alex, while you're doing the right thing, I was out there doing the total opposite of what you was doing, right? <laughs> so so we uh so we started putting plans at about you know three years in, so 27. We started putting plans in to change our financial situation. And then the more we grew, the more we grew, it gave uh my wife the ability to retire at 39 years old. And what I mean by retire means not retire and have to go work another job. Uh, yes, she does do work for the business that we own and the real estate that we own, but she doesn't go out to a nine to five and work for somebody else. But the plans that we put in together, and I'll share those, and that's what we share on this channel all day, every day. But we'll just talk about what we did in that process to get to those steps to give her the ability to retire at 39 years old. But Alex, you got any questions or what you got? No, no, I'm ready to hear the, I don't know the full uh, story. Um, I know you guys have assets. That is a major reason for being able to retire early. Right. So again, we're not going to go down the rabbit hole of what's before. If you want to know how we used to live before, you can just watch the previous videos. <laughs> right. uh, it's under, and we have, you know, playlists and then we talk about, you know, our life struggles with finances and stuff like that. So hit the playlist on our channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're out there. Uh, just to go through that whole story. I think I have about five or six videos talking about the struggles that I had going up uh, roughly around the time I joined the military. Uh, but the thing that we did, we just, we just got focused and became conscious on purpose. What I mean by that is we started looking at where every dollar was going. Um, like we've talked about, uh, bringing living below our means, unscrewing the light bulbs and the ceiling fans and things like that early on just to get out of debt. Uh, and then so from there, like we talked before, $50, that's the only thing that we could afford at the time to invest into an index mutual fund. So we just invested 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 50 bucks. And every dollar extra that we made on top of that, we just ran it and then kept investing. And then after that, we just start getting better jobs. My wife started getting promotions. We started getting better jobs. And so instead of going and saying, oh, we got, we're making so much money now, then let's go live it up and let's go live the high life. We took all that money and invested. it. So like I was telling you before that we lived on 20% of our income, even though the income was increasing, we lived on 20% of it. And then, and then we invested 80%. So we kept going, kept going. Uh, like that for years. And then we moved here to Florida. And then that's when uh, we started on the real estate, the buying the business aspect. Me, I'm not a creative person. So you won't hear me saying, oh, I started a business from ground up. 
you know, I've thought of this great idea. What I did was just follow other people's blueprint is uh, real estate, uh, buying business that's already existing and finding more efficient ways to run the business. And then so that's how we started, started buying businesses, started buying real estate, and we still accumulate those to this day. And then the cash flow from the assets that we was buying, and it wasn't like we bought 50 at a time. It was one after another, after another, intention on in purpose. And then we started building those assets to build the cash flow up. And then the only thing that my goal was, was I wanted to make sure I'll work to the day that I die. I mean, no matter what it is, personal stuff, it don't matter. I'll work to the day that I die. But I didn't want my wife to have to get out of the military like I've seen everybody else that I know in the military. They get out of the military, retire or whatever, and they still have to go and get another job just to survive. So my goal the whole time was I didn't want my wife to have to retire and then have to go get another job. And then so I started building assets and building cash flow that will cover cover her paycheck three and four times over. So it's not like, oh, we're just at the bar of covering our expenses. And if one thing goes wrong, then, oh, she got to go out and hurry up and go get a job. So I wanted the three, four, five, six X, the income that the household was bringing in from actual working physical W-2 jobs. And then that's what we did. We shot just to keep overshooting, bringing in more Cash flow, bringing in more cash flow. Even to this day, like, you know, we closed on three. I could be at five this year, but I still might do one this year. But that's a whole nother video. But uh, still buying cash flow and uh, assets to keep the keep the money coming in. Just keep it coming in. And it gives it gives us the ability. So my wife retired um, in the middle of this year. Uh, she retired in the middle of this year. And now she just sit at home and. And try to uh, make me eat healthy and work out and all that <laughs> other all that other stuff I don't like. But I mean, but I'm happy. I'm happy that we was able to achieve the goal that I set out for. And she never knew that's that was the goal that I was shooting for. But that was a goal I set out for that she could, when she was done, you know, she gave 20 years to the military. I didn't want her to feel she just did all that sacrifice and then had to come and then go pick up another nine to five job to work and start over. So that's that's really how that's how we did it. Yeah. Um, what we're trying to say, too, is when you can retire early, um, it's not saying like, oh, we're going to keep working at like our nine to five jobs or anything like that. Um, now, it, but the option is there if you want to have that. But, you know, being able to retire, um, like you said, you'll work till the day you die. Um, if I'm understanding you correctly, like, you know, you the the type of work you do when you build assets is different than, you know, working at a day job. Most people. Right. Right. And what I mean by working to the day I die, I mean, working on my stuff. I right. mean, I'm not I'm right. not going to go work for, you know, uh, Walmart, being a Walmart reader to the day I die. I mean, working on my yeah. stuff. And. So. It's a hard concept to grasp because a lot of people, their knowledge is limited as to what work is as far as they think that work is just you go to work, you go to work some, for somebody else, collect the paycheck so you can go back home, afford to live. And really, humans are built to work where, you know, you look at a lot of people, once they go into retirement, they just die. They just, you know, they right, right. super fast. You know, we're built to have a purpose or to work or to, um, you know, do something. That work can be anything. The point is, when you have assets, uh, you can choose to what that work is going to be. Um, you can choose what you want to do with your life. Um, and it's not so much of just like sitting back and relaxing on the beach. Now, if you want to do that, you can. But, you know. Having you know, we've been to the beach a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> we've been to the beach a couple times. Yeah, of course. Um, but you know, it, it's I'm trying to just stress that point to the viewers. Like it's it's a different concept. And that's why I say, like, I would like to have the ability to retire by 30. Right. If I wanted to just say, screw all this, I'm I'm not working again, I have the ability to do so because of the assets I have. But I know myself I'm gonna want to keep working. Um, I'm not going to want to. And, and the thing is, is the the time, I mean, well, I mean, you know how how much I put in, especially looking for to acquire assets, you know, reviewing assets and things like that. 
Uh, so I get I get more than 40 hours a week working on my own stuff. So, I mean, maybe because I'm just hard charging and I just want to keep growing and growing and growing. But I mean, yeah, you get the opportunity to pick and choose what you want to do. I mean, you can pick up and just go somewhere else. When you work for yourself, you control your own schedule. I mean, like we go out now and then, you know, we meet up with family and friends and then people ask my wife, you know, how's retirement? They just think I'm a lazy dog anyway. So they don't ask me, you know, <laughs> I ask my wife, how's retirement or, uh, you know, and then they sit there and you know, they has they have aspirations to retire early, but they know in their mind's eye, they don't see in their current situation how that is possible. Right. And of course we, you know, we're always freely to, we always free to share the information on how we did it. But the thing I find out is not, I, I, not many people, if at all, wants to take the sacrifice or change the way they're living now to set themselves up for early time. They just want it, just a hope and a dream that they're willing to do nothing to achieve. So mm -hmm. that's that's how I look at that. Yeah. But the fire movement is real, is, is possible. It can be done, but you have to be intentional on purpose with every dollar today. The same thing if you're building out a business intentional on purpose you got to set goals and achieve those goals to be able to say hey i want to control my life right if if you're you only have really you only have two options it's either you're going to build your dreams or you're going to build somebody else's dream whichever way you choose is on you but somebody's dreams is going to be built as long as you're working so you got to figure out who you want to build them for right no, it's very true. A lot of people think that a lot of people laugh at the idea that it's of retiring early. They don't think it's possible. Um, and especially for like younger people, right, that want to that have that goal to retire early. It is very possible. But like you said, um, you have to be intentional about everything. Um, you cannot live your life like everyone else lives their life if you want to retire early. You just can't. It's not going to work out. Um, but the good thing is by the time you get to that point, then you can live your life like no one else is living their life. So, you know, you don't have Absolutely. to go to that nine to five job, uh, because you have to, uh, you know, it's more of a choice. Do you want to go to work? Um, and then, you know, if you don't want to go to work now, you have, you know, you've built your assets to the point where you can just live off of your assets and manage your assets. And, uh, hopefully you've set a threshold to where, uh, you're still making more above your expenses so you can keep growing your assets and, you know, continue that way. Um, but there's always going to be work even when you have assets, but the, the work is different. It's not, it's not like it, you're not going to hate it. And that's one big point. I can't remember who uh, mentioned this or worded it this way, but they said it don't do what you, uh, don't do what you love. There's a difference between doing what you love and loving what you do. Because if you do what you love, it's all for emotion and you're just, you're going to get so attached to it. It's not going to make any money. And it's more of a hobby. Right. But if you love what you do, then that's the difference is you're doing something that's productive, that's creating wealth for your family. And in the meantime, you, you love what you're doing. You're not going to, you're, you're going to you're not even going to want to sleep because you want to continue to do what you're doing and uh, building what you're building. Well, absolutely. With all that being said, um, thanks for looking at the channel. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section below if you want to talk about the fire movement or retiring early or wanting want to get a step by step account. Uh, we will be happy to send messages in the comment section. With all that being said. See you in the next video. Talk to you later. See you guys.